We hope you enjoyed your test drives with the Audi A5 and Audi S5. Before we will go to dinner, we want to give you some insights about the approach of the Audi A5 in the night. That means we want to talk about lighting technology and I want to introduce our expert, Dr. Werner Thomas. He's our lighting man. No. <laughs> so we it's have, up to you. We have more. So good evening also from my side. Or if you would be a lighting engineer, good morning or have a good start of your working day because now it's getting interesting, it's getting dark outside. I would say let's talk about the light of the A5. And I would directly start with a statement which might be a little bit provocative. And it sounds the following. The lighting installations that we have in the front of the A5 and also in the rear of the A5 are something where people told us you cannot develop such kind of things, you cannot produce it, and you will never get a homologation for that. And I will give you two examples how we managed to do this in the past and also what we are doing with new sophisticated systems. To give you an example, the A5 is using, I think all of you know, adaptive driving beam systems, glare free high beam, matrix beam is our name for that, where we have an array of LEDs linked to the camera of the car. You're driving with full high beam on all the time and if there is a car driving in front of you or it's approaching you, the camera detects and you're just deactivating the section, you would glare other people. Our suppliers told us, I think it was 15 or nearly 20 years ago when we started with this idea at Audi, that this is physically impossible. And they did not want to work with us on such kind of topics. What did we do? Well, we built the prototypes on our own and showed our suppliers that you can do that. And based on this, I think we introduced the first system already in 2014 with the A8 model. And meanwhile, it's a success story. We have this kind of technology in nearly every car that you can order, and it's a massive boost for roadside safety. And meanwhile, in the industry, of course, all the, also us, other OEMs are using this kind of technology. So it means never say never. So this is something which really did a revolution for front light system. We have also an example here for the rear of the car, and this is something that we are very happy to show also this kind of technology, second generation of so-called digital OLED technology. What does it mean? An OLED is a surface light source, so each of these tiles is an OLED panel. OLED stands for organic light emitting diode. Also here, when we started, I think it was roughly 14 years ago, with OLED technology, our suppliers, or also um, material companies said, you're totally crazy because an organic LED is degrading at high temperatures, at high humidity and solar radiation. And all of this is what we have in the car. So what did we do? Did we use a consumer electronics? No, we worked with our partners to get to a fundamentally different material basis, which is withstanding the lifetime of the car. So we, are, we decided or we developed LEDs years ago to have a higher performance than the lifetime of the car. The same is true for OLED technology. And then we introduced already in 2016 OLED technology in the very first car, the Audi TTRS. And since this time, we're rolling out OLED technology in more and more cars. And it's, we are always getting the question, is it mature? Yes, it is. We have long experience. We had spent more than 10 years in pre-development before we're doing uh, this first car launch. And we're now happy to have the second generation. And what does this mean? Second generation means we have may, way more pixels that we can control, factor of 10 versus the cars that you have seen so far from us. So that means the rear end of this car is having 364 segments that we can control individually. What are we doing with this? We are offering eight different lighting signatures that you can select as user of the car in, in the rear of the car, but also in the daytime running light, you will get different signatures. You have an own menu in the MMI where you can change the lighting mm -hmm. pattern. And this is also um, when we're going for the night drive later, you can also check this. You can change the parameters and also the lighting signatures will change. Whatever you like best is what you can select. Mm -hmm. And we also have new in the My Audi app, you also have the possibility to do this with your smartphone when you're standing outside of the car. What is also very special with this kind of technology is what you can see here. You, if you're paying careful attention, this light pattern is moving, it's coming to life. We're calling this active digital light signature. This is not for just two seconds coming home, leaving home. This is a fully 
homologated function when you're driving the car. This is what I was mentioning in the beginning of um, the talk. We also have topics where we can now do with intelligent hardware, with intelligent software, also lighting functions that were not thinkable, that you have a dynamic lighting signature when you're driving the car. What's the magic behind that? In our E3 architecture, in the new one, we have an own piece of software calculating in real time that we have always constant light values. This is what we have to fulfill for homologation. But with the human eye, you can really see that it's crisp, that it's vivid, and so on. So it's a block of a lot of new features that we're bringing here also in the Audi A5. It's not only about personalization, also safety is a topic that we're addressing with this kind of technology. We're introducing um, a function which is called communication light. You have to uh, imagine it's working the following. We're using the same OLED technology with the segments. And for the first time, we're also showing warning symbols in the rear combination lamp. So we're showing in the first step a warning triangle, which is activated if there are dangerous situations ahead. We're getting data from the cloud, and we're warning proactively people driving behind us. So this is a technical service. We're getting infrastructure data, like from, uh, from the service here, that there is a roadside accident, perhaps a two miles ahead, and the car is automatically changing to a warning signature. I recommend, if you want to test this during driving the car later, just activate the hazard uh, light button, because this will also trigger this warning triangle. Could we see that now? The um, let me just see if we can activate this. I'm not sure if the car is in the right mode, but let's give it a try. Is it exactly? So this is also what you can test later in the car. That and this is fully done automatically. You don't have to do something as a driver. And. <coughs> Looking forward that you can test all these kind of features in the car, and I think this is now the perfect time slot to guide you th to the cars. Are those also the turn signals? Uh, the turn is an LED, so a conventional LED oh, technology. So this is this is a common technology, LED, and here the three tiles per side. This is OLED technology. And this is also what we're using for changing the, the design patterns, but also for showing communication symbols. And if you like, we can go now to the cars and also to give you a ride where you can toggle between the different lighting signatures and you will see it also in the car driving in front of you. You will see how this is really looking in a roadside environment.